they will is compromise, no question, uh, because this ego I mostly uh, what it intends, what it wills, will always be according to what it knows, it, based on the known. So it's not really free, it's constrained by the known. Freedom is freedom to choose the unknown, but how do you choose the unknown? It's quite simple actually when you think about it, because choosing the unknown means say no to the known, that's the first step. But then begins the arduous journey, which we call the creative journey, it's a process, it consists of asking a question, it consists of preparation, it consists of just sitting on the preparation so that the quantum possibilities can grow. And more possibilities you have to choose from, the more is your chance of finding the unknown answer to the question. And so eventually you have a quantum leap to the unknown. It's always a quantum leap because you are identified with this very local, very individual consciousness. So you have to take a quantum leap to that which is not local, which is non-local. You have to take a quantum leap from the old to the new. So it's a discontinuous transition. When electrons jump from one orbit of the atom to another, it does not go through the intermediate space. This is what we call quantum leap. So you have to similarly take a quantum leap without going through the intermediate places intermediate stations of your thinking. You have to, you are, you are thinking this now about yourself right, right now in terms of the known, all of a sudden you are in a place where it's complete surprise. You didn't know that you were this. It's the aha experience. It's a quantum leap. And that reveals to you your true self.